into air defense. The U.S. discussing possibly sending fighter jets to Poland. Uh, jets that would replace jets Poland may send to Ukraine. Yeah, th this was an option that there was opposition to just a few days ago. Now there's movement. CNN's Natasha Bertrand joins us now from Brussels. Natasha, th this moved pretty quickly f from a no to close to a yes. How exactly would it work? And have they worked out the issue of, of how those jets in Poland are replaced, what they're replaced with? Yeah, Jim, so we still don't really have a timeline for when this would actually happen, but Secretary Blinken did confirm yesterday that they're working essentially to backfill the Polish kind of air fleet if they were to decide, if Poland were to decide, to send those Soviet-era jets to Ukraine. Of course, it's important that Ukraine have those jets that are actually Russian-made because those are the ones that they know how to fly. But Poland, of course, does not want to be left without. And so the question is, how is the United States and how long is it going to take for the United States to provide American-made F-16 jets to Poland so that they can then send their uh, Soviet airplanes to Ukraine? Now, the airspace over Ukraine is still contested, which has struck a lot of officials by surprise, uh, took a lot of officials by surprise, and Ukraine has been begging for these planes because they say that it could give them some kind of an edge over the Russians because they right now have a shortage of aircraft. So they believe that this could be a real game changer for them. Zelensky, in a call with U.S. lawmakers just last weekend, uh, said that he was really hoping that Poland and other Eastern European countries that have these planes uh, will be backfilled so that they can have uh, those planes be sent to Ukraine for use. Jim. Natasha Bertrand in Brussels, thanks so much. Joining